or nice stringy, gooey, all the flavours, the heat. It's just a nice, comfortable, warming heat, which is what I was going for. It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Hello, today um, we are cooking up a nice, warming, autumn dish. Um, I'm doing the mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is awesome. Um, but what I'm going to, I have this mac and cheese, because it's for me, it's a bit of an indulgence of mine. I'm doing, putting pancetta and chorizo. Yes, I'm using meat, um, but if you want to take that out, if, if you roast up some butternut squash and some tomatoes, put them in with it, mix them into cheese sauce after you've done it, absolutely fantastic. We do that like quite a lot, but this is mine. So, and of course, being a really nice, warming, indulgent dish, I'm going to indulge in some chilies because what's the point of, if we're going to have some indulgent, just add a bit of extra indulgence into it. So, right. So, you've got a clove of garlic. I'm using smoked garlic. I love it. The flavours are just a bit more oh, intense and punchy. Half a medium onion. Some pancetta. And some chorizo. Now, the oils of the pancetta and the oils from the chorizo, when they mix together, would be absolutely superb with the garlic and the onions, all that. But with that, that one, I'm going to put in a reaper. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the chocolate one or just the plain old red. Probably just the plain old red for now. I might possibly make two, depending on how much is in there. And the chocolate habanero. And then for the cheese sauce, for the cheese sauce, um, it's just going to be a straightforward cheese sauce. But, um, yes, it's going to have, it, I've got a clove, clove of diced smoked garlic to go in there. And I also have some basil, and some normal salt, pepper, milk, and all that lot. Butter, when it comes to making it, always do equal amounts of butter to equal amounts of flour. Um, you want to cook out flour as well, otherwise it's not so gritty. Got a pan of water there, like cheese for cheese sauce. I'm using mozzarella, that's for the nice creamy, sticky gooeyness to it. And smoked applewood. I love smoked applewood in this recipe. In a cheese sauce, smoked applewood is awesome. Well, I'm also going to be using whole grain mustard. In a cheese sauce, mustard is a must. I love whole grain. Whole grain mustard is beautiful. And for the pasta, I'm not using those teeny tiny macaroni shell things you get. I'm actually using large plastic shells. The point being, right, is the divot in the pasta shell, you, you can like, it's like a little cheese pocket, and you just get some of the sauce in there, it's brilliant. Um, right, I haven't actually got much to, to add in 
to the cheese sauce, as in flavourings and all that, but because what I'm going to do, what I usually do, really fantastic, is all the flavours that come out of the pancetta, the onions, the pica and all that, I'm actually going to mix it all in with the cheese sauce once the cheese is done. Cheese sauce is done. That's it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. Only a little tiny, tiny splash there. Sure. Don't pull that in together. Right, pictures, recipes, if you don't want to keep going over and like going, oh, what did you put in that? What did you put in that? Quick, you've got to find that. If um, I know there's a link on the head, header banner, I will also put a link at the bottom to my Facebook site, Chris Nova 51. Right, let's get myself a spoon. Uh, I'm not going to add anything else to that. I'm just going to have them flavours cooking out. You might put a little tiny, tiny bit of salt in there. I'm not sure. Uh, water's nicely, nicely, nicely bubbling. Right, the chilies I'm not going to add now. I'm going to add bit later on when everything's all crisp down and that lot because I do want to get some chili flavour and not just the immense heat. Add that down a little bit. Gloves. Working with soup pots. Oh. Look at the inside of that. I love cutting the chilies up and not seeing the inside of them. They're so nice. No, I'm only going to use one reaper. I don't want to overpower the habanero taste. Well, I'm actually going to use two chocolate habaneros. Oh, that smell of the chocolate habanero. Love it. And then I turn around and I've got the smell of the truth, so I'm in heaven. I'm in absolute heaven. Right, while I'm here, I might as well do the peach turtle for the cheese sauce. The smell on that one is incredible. Get a bit of pasta going. Get some cheese sauce going. Butter is about 109 grams there, no 109 grams of butter, 109 grams of flour in there. Get a nice amount down. Once that's once that's like halfway melted, then I'll add the garlic and the basil so it mixes in with the rest while the rest is melting down right considering i'm not chopping any cheese up now i shall take off the gloves i cook better with that cooking. all right that's all my down Oh, I love the smell of garlic and basil. Well, uh, you know that. Uh.
Like when you want to do this, when you do this, you want it on a slow simmering heat. Because you don't want anything to burn. Just want to cook out that flour. Now, when a lot of people do this, the milk they have a they have a pan on to warm up the milk. Um, I don't. I really don't. If you add the milk slowly, bits at a time, risk it bits at a time, then it should just heat up as you put it in the pan. Just in there like that. The smells are lovely, incredible in there. Oh, that's flipping up quite nicely. I'm going to turn that onto a bit of a lower heat. Just done, I don't want to burn the garlic. Right, in go the reapers and the hats. Just like that. Put them to one side. Now the trick to see whether your cheese sauce is thick enough is if you get it like that, it coats the back of the spoon, then it's beautiful. But still got a bit of whisking to do. And if you think it is a bit too thick, you can still add a little tiny bit of, bit of milk, which I think I might do now. That should do the trick. While I'm over there, I'll grab this. Bowl oh, because I do like the when you stick it under the grill afterwards and you get a nice layer of crispy cheese on top. That cheese sauce is looking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful. Turn that one down there. See the pasta on one side. Don't accidentally knock it with one arm, and that would not be good. Oh, that just looks about ready for. Bit of mustard. Well, mm, that much. That would be like a teaspoon. That is absolutely looking lovely. Bit of Susie salt. Little tiny bit of Percy. Not that much. A 
then the pigs try to cut loose. Stick them in there. If we they are nice pods. If you can get hold of them, try them. They are absolutely beautiful. Especially if we like sitting there watching TV or a movie and just snacking on peppers. I might add a bit of them. Just because when I add the cheese to it, it's going to thicken it up even more. That is looking absolutely beautiful. Mozzarella. Don't be lazy and get the pre-grated stuff because they put powders on it. Um, A, they change the flavour of the cheese and I find that they taste nasty and the melting point on the cheese changes. Some of them, some of them are actually anti-melting powders. Now, I'm not slicing it, I'm not chunking it, I'm going to go pizza style on it. Look at that, nice and stringy. It's beautiful. Just makes you want to grab a cup and just drink some. Smoke that one. Get that in there. I haven't grated it out, I've just chunked it because it's going to melt anyway. It just makes it slightly easier if you grate it. That's nice, coaty, nice and stringy. Oh, that's heavy. Right, the cheese is pretty much melted, so I will add in. The chorizo, onion, um, garlic, um, shit. Uh, you've got the oils going in there, you've got the flavour. This. And the thing is, most of the flavours that are actually in the chorizo, I would have added in anyway. That is. Absolutely magical. Absolutely magical. And then adding the pasta. So literally the shells the every single piece of the shell picks up that flavour. And a lot of lemon just sticks to it. Look at that. That is just absolutely incredible. All the shells and nice and coated. Let's turn that off. Yeah, it's been on the grill for a bit. 
and toast on top. Look at that lovely colour. That is absolutely amazing. All that gooey, stringy niceness. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Perfect for a nice cold, cold day. Oh, nice stringy, gooey, all the flavours, the heat. It's just a nice, comfortable, warming heat, which is what I was going for. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Right. Until next time. Laters.